All right, basically just got some exciters here. Uh, this is one I just wound and I'm running it from a button cell 1.5 volt battery right now. Um, just to get an idea of the current, I figure um, if it'll run relatively the same from a button cell as it does from a double A, it can't be pulling uh, all that much current. Otherwise, I mean, the cell, these button cells can't put out that much anyway. So <clears throat> this lets me know it's actually got pretty low draw. Uh, so you can see it'll light the fluoro. But it's not putting out enough current to make the, uh, to put out a very strong field along all of the uh, wires. Like a lot of exciters. But it's still... Uh, relatively impressive, you know. You get a bright LED off the one wire, some lighter uh, fluorescent wireless. But that'll actually run for a decent amount of time from a uh, just that little button cell. And um, I knew it would because I ran it uh, lighting that floral right there for about three days, three or four days straight from a. Uh, a C battery um, probably can do the same thing from a double A but uh, the field is not too bad I would have thought that with this size battery I would probably I would have had to touch the uh, the load directly to that top wire just to get it to light but um, surprisingly that field gets it done. So I'm just got the double uh, A battery on there now. Just want to see if that has much of a difference, which there's a little bit of a difference. I mean, you can see it's putting out a little more current. That's decent range. In my opinion and um, this is definitely a better performance um, than I get from my much larger tower I don't even think my larger tower will even oscillate from uh, one and a half volts it's got an entirely different circuit this is just uh, Slayer's basic um, exciter circuit with the LED indicator just a single LED so now here's uh, from the uh, lithium cell the 3.7 volt it really go runs good from this surprisingly um, I also get a fairly good plasma it doesn't come out all the time but I can I can get the plasma and, um, I would have thought I, I would need at least six to nine volts for that, but it actually works from this. You can see it's actually got a decent little magnetic field coming off the uh, the turns the whole circuit and makes makes the whole circuit hot basically. Uh, fluorescence light up really good. Also the uh, field coming from these wires here will actually light it up. This is pretty similar to my large 12 volt exciter where pretty much everything physically connected to the circuit becomes extremely hot and I can, you know, like light incandescence one wire from the battery terminals and whatnot so here's a smaller ferrite version of the same exciter it's basically the same circuit it's just using a much smaller tower much smaller wire um, and it's got a ferrite core from a radio um, but the circuit is essentially the same you know, just single transistor resistor LED indicator and um, 
that actually runs very similar. It operates very similar. Same same input voltages, ranges pretty much. The only difference I've noticed is it doesn't actually emit as strong of a field um, throughout the entirety of the circuit. So basically these, these leads I have hooked up are not emitting a very powerful field. Like in, uh, at least it's not as powerful as the other tower. see from um, button cell roughly roughly the same operation I'll say maybe it works a little bit better this is the same uh, button cell from earlier and that's, so that's not going to light um, the one wire LED doesn't want to light unless I give it a, a good enough virtual ground so if I touch it just the right way using my fingers included I can get that to just barely light but uh, it's nothing significant just barely get that light there this AV plug is not too good and the LED sucks so I, it definitely would get brighter and better range with a little different setup. It's just a just an indicator. I would actually be kind of hard pressed to find an oscillator that can take a button cell and and get it to light up a fluoro uh, for anywhere near as long as this would. So the fact that it does it wireless is also it's pretty damn cool. Now again, from the double A, roughly the same voltage, but just kicks out a little bit better current. Still doesn't really want to light this one wire like that like the see the the larger diameter tower without the ferrite would have would have lit that one wire this well this one doesn't but it seems to light certain loads up a little better it's because this wire is so much thinner this is very hair thin wire as opposed to that other tower which was I believe closer to uh like 32 34 gauge something like that See, it definitely lights it up much better from the uh, lithium cell. And this actually, this will give out very good plasma from 9 volts. And it, I can uh, burn my finger pretty good or light, light a small fire. And I could light a fire if I needed to with this from this voltage. I just have to bring uh, capacitance up close to it to get that uh, plasma to come out. It's pretty impressive. Uh, rewinding this tower, re rewiring this circuit using a uh, much more neat pancake is what allowed me to uh, get a little bit better results. Than th these are the same results that I was getting uh, roughly from a 9 volt. So now when I use a 9 volt on this circuit, it's much better. But just for the sake of potentially not burning out the transistor or overheating it, I'm really not even sure if it would. I'm just avoiding that altogether because it seems to work well enough from this battery. And we'll just barely get the uh, one wire going from this voltage.